let's talk about KPIs. Your key performance indicators, or KPI for short, should be the central metrics that allow you to track performance and navigate your way to success and growth. The trouble is that there are thousands of KPIs to choose from. And it's easy to convince yourself that you need to measure everything in your organization. But you need to focus on measuring the most important and influential metrics. And you should also tie your measures to your strategic goals. And a KPI should be simple, should be straightforward, and it should be easy to measure. And one of the great features of a CRM software like Supravis is that you can track numerous metrics that matter to your business. And to ensure that the whole team is on the same page, making use of customizable dashboards is a great and simple way to report to different teams and audiences. And today I'll show you some essential KPIs you should be measuring in your CRM system and how we can track them using dashboards. So let's jump into SuperOffice to take a look at some examples. And in this demo, I will show you the 10 essential KPIs you should be measuring in your CRM system and how easy it is to set up dashboards to track your performance in SuperOffice. In your CRM system, you usually have tons of useful data and customer history. And in SuperOffice, you get dashboards so that you can quickly get started and get that overview of how your business is performing. And you can create dashboards from scratch, or you can use ready-made templates. And today I will show you some examples of essential KPIs you can measure in your CRM system. And as you see here, we have different dashboards set up. So this one, KPI dashboard, is our most important KPIs. And this is for the whole organization, and it's more high level. But we can also make one for the sales team, or we can make one for each individual salesperson so that we can break down goals and they can work towards their specific targets. But let's focus on the KPI dashboard now. So the first dashboard is value of sales by source for the last three months. And this is great to understand where our sales are coming from. And as we can see, recommendation is by far the biggest contributor. And then we also have win loss rate by source. And to the right here, we can see the closing rate per month. We also have average deal size per month. And of course, sales year to date. Next, let's take a look at customer activity. So you can get an overview of new, forgotten and lost customers. To the left, we have a dashboard showing companies without activities the last three months. So when we register activities in SuperOffice, like phone calls and meetings, these are linked to companies. So if we haven't registered anything the last three months for specific meeting types or specific company categories like A, B and VIP customers, this will show up here. And it's quite alarming if you have 14 VIP customers without any follow-up. So you can take immediate action here and schedule phone calls. We can also see new customers registered this month and lost customers this month. This will also give you your churn rate. And then we can take a look at customer experience with Net Promoter Score and customer support performance. So for those that use SuperOffice service to handle all incoming requests in one place, that categorize, prioritize, assign and process tickets in SuperOffice, we can see some important KPIs here. And the first is average number of messages per request. And as you can see here, this is per month. And we want this number to be as low as possible because you want the customer to have a great experience. And usually we want to try to avoid the flip-flopping and messaging back and forth. And the next is average time to close. And this is also an important KPI to show how effective the team is working. We can also see how satisfied our customers are with us as a business with average MPS score. And we can also see MPS detractors per month, passives per month, and promoters per month. Now that was some examples of essential KPIs, but there are still two missing. 
So let's go back up to sales performance. We will add some new ones here. So I will go to and add a new tile. And as we can see here, we have a set of templates that we can add directly. So I will go to sales. And here I can search from the list or I can search here. So I can add my pipeline, the next three months, actual amount, weighted amount by sale type or total pipeline value. So I will add by sale type and it will add directly here to the grid. So here I can see my pipeline the next three months by sales type, sale to existing customer and sale to new customer. And I can also drag this to make it bigger. Now we can add a new one and we can add from a template or we can also add one from scratch, but let's add group revenue this month. We can go in and change the data set and the layout of the dashboard. So here I want to see sale this year. I will remove the user group and I will add only sales to new customers or prospects. We can add a sales type and then we add sale to new customer. Then we can continue to the layout and we can add it as a column chart. And we want to also compare it to period previous year. Then we can add a title. And save. We can adjust the tile and we're done. So now we've seen some essential KPIs you should be measuring in your CRM system and also how easy it is to set up dashboards in SuperOffice. Have a super day.